Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I got something special to show you. I got casein paint and this is a very particular paint. Um, like I said before in another video, I'm trying to gather all materials to start learning the way Mr. James Gurney does his paintings. If you don't know anything about James Gurney, I will put a link right here to his channel so you can check him out. His, um, well, I don't even have words to explain how magnificent his style and work is. And if you know him, well, you know what I'm talking about. So he likes to paint a lot with this kind of paint. This is from a company called Richardson Casein and I ordered these at Amazon. Now I have two sets. This is like a regular set of colors, like normal sets. It doesn't really tell you other than that this is not a set of six. Well, actually I got them reversed because I've been using them. <laughs> so actually this is the box for the underpainting and this is the box for the color theory. So this should be like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I started doing the video. But, um, and let me take this off. Actually, this is like this. See? Now it's easier to understand. I put the wrong lid in the wrong boxes. There we go. So you got the color theory set and we got the under set of six. It actually brings six and you're actually looking at seven. And the reason why you're looking at seven is because I had to order on the side the white and the black. I just put them in the box because I didn't want to lose them. But really this set should come without uh, white and without the black. So really it will be like this. This is the way um, you will actually receive the paints if you would ever want to buy them. However, when I was doing my research, when I wanted to buy them, I saw that there were different sets. I mean, I think you can actually buy sets where the black and the white are in the box. It's made out of cow milk. So, I don't know. I know I read some reviews about this thing being having a funky smell. I didn't perceive that when I used them. I already used them a little bit um, to get to know them. I don't know. It's um, it's I don't know how to explain the way these paintings perform. Are like if you were using oil painting, but at the same time it's like wash. It's opaque but it, it's thick like if you were using oil painting so it's kind of cool and at the same time weird so this is the palette that i've been using to mix the colors and you can see uh they they go really see the consistency once you finish painting and you leave them like sitting there it will go very dry and it's just like dry it's really dry and um, I thought that if you wouldn't put water like I thought once you use them that's it done you gotta clean the palette and reuse it again but then I was just experimenting and I found out that if I want to reuse them if I want to actually reuse the color I'm gonna make an example so you know what I'm talking about I'm going to get uh, a piece of watercolor paper. This is just regular watercolor paper, nothing fancy, cheap watercolor paper. And I use this cheap watercolor paper to test colors and things like that. So let me get a brush. And so if you actually put water on what you already use, it will reactivate. So you can actually come back and paint again with whatever you left on the palette. So it's kind of like wash. See? Oh, sorry, you can't see. 
so it's let me let me do this again so I did put water on it right so if I come back with my brush and I paint see it's there so you doesn't matter look I'm gonna do another color let's do this color over here just gonna throw a little bit of water there and I'm gonna come with my brush pick up some of this color All right it's kind of like a reddish color well it's a little mixed because there's a lot of colors in there but if you come back with your brush you can actually keep painting so that was kind of interesting I thought that this will dry out and done deal but no you can actually reactivate this so very cool feature right there I mean you don't waste much painting if you want to keep you know using these colors and so that's a cool thing right so let me put this on the side right there for a minute so that's that and then if you want I can tell you the colors that I have so the, the colors that I received were titanium white ivory black which I told you I got them separately sorry about the glare let me take this out of the way so it doesn't bother you that much so in this color theory set of six I got Shiva Violet. Let me take this box because it, it makes a lot of glare. Okay, there you go. And Shiva Green, which is Pethalo Green, I guess. Oh, Talo Green, I'm sorry. Talo Green. And then you have Catnium Orange in this set. Catnium Yellow Light. Shiva Rose. And Ultramarine Blue Deep. So those are the colors for that specific set. Now these tubes, some of them came like this. You notice this? This is so weird. Look, this, they look normal like this, but some of them came like this. So I fixed them. So the way you want to, I mean, if you want, if you ever buy this and they come like this, all you got to do is kind of like pull it back and put it back in position. And there you go then the tube looks exactly like it's supposed to be looking. So, there you go. It's a little tip right there. So that's this set. Let's put them over here. So now this one, which is the underpainting set of six, you will receive uh, Paints Gray, Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber, and Catnion Rella... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And Catnian Red Pale, Permacel Blue, and Yellow Ochre. So that's the underpainting, and these actually are pretty good colors for underpainting. Now with all these colors, I think I got enough. <laughs> I don't think I need any more. However, there's one particular color that I would like to get because I've seen it used by Mr. Gurney over and over and over again which is cobalt blue and here there's no cobalt blue however I think I could get away making cobalt blue with ultramarine and white but you gotta mix a lot so that's um, that's the amount of painting that I got yeah a little expensive but it's worth it it's worth it and I'm gonna show you why it's worth it I'm going to put this guys over here, All right? because it's a lot of colors, there you go. And this is a pentallic sketchbook that I started exclusively to learn the techniques and the ways of how Mr. James Gurney paints. So I actually signed up for his... Um, course online and I truly love it I really like it a lot but you have to follow along with him and I think it's more for like an advanced person on how to you know paint and things like that because if you don't know how to paint and you don't know 
you know, color theory and a lot of bunch of other things. I think it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to learn his techniques, but you know, it's out there, it's there, uh, and it's amazing. I mean, I, I love it. I really love, I really love it. So, so this is a pentallic watercolor sketchbook. I started this sketchbook exclusively for him, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I've done with the casing paints in this book. And so here's one of the paintings supposed to be a river. I don't know if I kind of like did what I was supposed to do, but I did. Um, it's difficult to then again to do this kind of painting if you don't know exactly how to work with the medium and if you are very new to painting or drawing. So you got to kind of go your way and create what it's almost what he's trying to teach you and this one is a boat and this boat is they were constructing the boat inside you know like a workspace of people that make this kind of boat and so these two were kind of this one I don't know I don't know which one was more difficult <laughs> They were very challenging, that's for sure. And then I had this one, let's see if you can see that. Uh, this is like in a plaza kind of thing. Um, yes, yeah, there, you know, but not like I would have liked to. But then again, guys, this is a sketchbook. This is a learning curve. Um, Mr. Gurn Gurney techniques are very, very unique and very interesting. So guys, I'm just trying to learn. I mean, it's not perfect, it's there. I'm trying to learn his techniques and how to use this paint, you know, the casein paint. And, and it really is all about learning. So it, this is my sketchbook and this is what I'm trying to do. This is not perfect. This is not something that I'm gonna put on the wall, but it's nice. I mean, I, I like, I like the way I'm learning how to use this paint. It's amazing. I really, really love it. I, I didn't know about this casein, but it's, it's quite interesting. And these paints, I don't know if my camera is going to focus. Let's see if it focuses. But here you have the series and the light fastness of the paint. So these are not ordinary paints guys this is professional stuff and that's why they're so expensive i think um but the tubes these are uh, 1.25 ounce tubes they're big compared to a well this is a mini daniel smith watercolor so i can't this is too little this is like the mini tube but if you compare it to like a bigger two from from Daniel Smith it will be twice as much of a Daniel Smith watercolor too so this is a lot of painting now that's why I like using casein because Mr. Gurney used this paint to do underpainting for uh, his wash or watercolor so that's kind of neat because he mixes mediums to create what he creates so it's kind of interesting it's not just only one thing is you know some people are just focused on watercolor some people are just focused on wash some people are just focused on oil painting so and they don't go anywhere else but if you mix some mediums it gets more interesting and the effects are fantastic I mean the work is phenomenal and so that's something to consider and I've been learning about that a lot because sometimes you know you just don't want to use anything but watercolor and really it's all about mixing the mediums and you get results like this you know so there you go that's uh, my my opinion about casein for now I mean like I've been practicing I'm hoping to make a video on making probably you know a painting with this and I'll let you know in the future more about this casein so hopefully you will try it too so guys 
I hope you like this video so don't forget to subscribe to the channel also don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when another video comes up and check all my social media the links are down below Instagram Facebook you name it whatever you like just you know let's keep in contact leave a comment down below let me know if you use KC paint and if you like it just let me know it will be very interesting thank you guys I'll see you later bye